So welcome to the last video in our four, now five part video series on approaching women and getting better at uh, approaching, uh, flirting with and dating women. And it's a whole complete series that we're putting on YouTube. So hopefully you're enjoying it. And in this video, well actually, but before I cut, get into that, let me cover the last few weeks. Uh, you should be definitely watching the previous videos if you're, uh, if you're starting right here and you really wanna change this area of your life, go back and watch them. Uh, from week one forward and, and do them in order you know start to really develop the skill sets in order get your journal start to journal do the uh, revealing process videos that i told you about where you work on the mindset yeah, after you uh after you do it the recorded releases because those are going to be really powerful if you've been listening to those for the last five weeks four to five weeks you will be making some huge shifts in your life in the way you're being with women because that will be working at the subconscious level and then uh, make sure you're doing each set of exercises every week okay uh, hopefully you got the one last week last week was so important as we got into what uh, the industry typically is called qualification but i'll call you know your values being what do you want as a man really being picky about what you want being picky setting boundaries having a sense of uh, of, of uh, pride in yourself like love for yourself saying you know i won't accept less than this at least in a woman i date or in a woman i i am uh, serious with and uh beginning to test her to figure out if she meets those values inside of yourself so so uh that's what last week's about and it's a really good video check it out if you haven't checked it out this week i want to talk about something very simple if you've done the rest right and you've really been flowing and you've gotten good at it you've gone through all the practices then now we we end up at um getting a phone number and getting that date getting an instant date and uh that's what it really boils down to and if you're really nailing it and you're really flowing this part becomes pretty damn easy really you know um one of the things now i want to talk specifically about people that maybe are a little nervous in this area that aren't sure what to say or what to do um and how to get over that nervousness so let's say you've been talking you've been connecting you can you started to, you started to banter play tease a little bit you went into um uh, uh you still into some of the testing and qualification work and your values and you, you feel this little bit of a lean in because she really feels your masculine power you've got your presence and your beingness worked out that's what's amplifying everything and making it work better so that's working for you and now she's leaning in a little bit well it should be a natural progression to ask for the phone number now what could get in the way of that several things one uh you could get really nervous and reactive when you go to ask which would cause her to back up and her natural feminine instincts would be to say no even if she does like you sometimes though they'll forgive that if they really like you but sometimes they'll be like i don't know why i said no he was really cool just something felt off because women are really loyal to the to the emotion of the moment so there's that going on so as you work through that that will start to change. One of the things that I recommend guys do that are really nervous about asking for the phone number is several things. One, have your contact page open. And when you go to ask for the phone number, you're not fumbling with the phone trying to figure out how to open the contact page because you can't think straight because you're nervous because you're scared she's going to reject you. And just hand it to her and say, hey, let me get your number and just have it open and just hold that tension. Let me get your number and relax. You know, we got to hang out sometime. And, uh, and that, that will start to get you over asking for the phone number. Um, if you want to lead into it a little bit, you don't want to be so bold because you're nervous, you're a nice guy, you can simply say something like, you know, we need to continue this conversation sometime. How do we do that? And then watch her reaction. And then when she says, well, you could get my number, say, well, definitely, and then hand her the number. That's a little softer entryway. You know, it's, it's kind of a, a testing the waters a little bit and seeing where and seeing where she goes and that is a little easier for a lot of nice guys a lot of times i just say hey, you know what we should hang out sometime and then i watch their reaction and then she says yeah and then i'll say well let me get your number i'll hand them the contact page the next thing i like to do i don't always do this but i typically will do the first half of this uh, i used to do this more is i like to text them right away i'll get the number say hey i'm going to send you a text let me make sure you got it pull out your phone and i make sure they get it and that they see the text because i have you have have you can have it where you get the wrong number something gets screwed up a digit gets entered wrong uh, because people are nervous or maybe she just gives you the wrong number and you might as well just do that right away but most of the time the text goes through everything's good everything's solid and when you send a text you can say you can write something funny in the text handsome guy from uh 
uh, there's a Third Street Promenade out in Santa Monica, right? Handsome guy from Third Street or El Guapo or something like that and just have fun with it. And, uh, and that'll make her laugh when she looks at it later if she hasn't looked at it already. This is something I haven't done in a long time, but it's kind of fun to do, especially if you're just getting started. I don't really do it anymore. But one other thing you can do is you can send her a text right there that says, oh my God, guess what just happened? I met the cutest girl on Third Street. And, she, and uh, then you send her that text. And then you tell her to check her text. Did you get the text? And she'll see it and she'll laugh. And then you can write, you know, should I ask her out? Should I take her out? And then you can write that in the text. And then you say, answer it, answer it. And you can get a text back and you already start this process of a communication going. You can come up with your own scenarios of communication that she's got to answer. It doesn't have to be that one. But that was just something I did for a little while just to get used to really taking the lead, taking the charge, having fun with the woman. And it worked uh, really well because now they're already in a text conversation with you and they remember it the first time you text them later when you're not around. Um, some other things you can do. You can say, hey, you know what? Let's go get a coffee right now. You know, if she's leaning in, you, you know, you got 15 minutes, I want to buy you a coffee. Let's go. And you just walk off and to the nearest coffee shop, know where it's at. Say, hey, there's a coffee shop right up here. Let's go. It'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. And you just own it in a relaxed way with your heart open and you take her with you. And if she doesn't want to go, here's the beauty. She'll appreciate that you asked, that you took the lead, that you were masculine, that you were present. She'll be like, oh, I can't right now. I got to go to work, but you know, I really appreciate it. I remember I had a client once and this changed his whole life. He'd never stopped a girl on the street and he stopped this girl. I remember she was beautiful. It was in London. She had a beautiful blue outfit on and she was in a hurry and she was running to, I think the tube. And he said, you know, let's go. Uh, I would love to get your number. I'd love to hang out. And she goes, I'm so sorry. I would, but I've got to run. I've got to be, I can't remember if it was work or something like that. And she put her hand on his chest and she said, you're a really sweet guy and you're very sexy. And, but I can't right now. I, I think she even had a boyfriend, but she was so sweet and so validating to him that after she walked away, it had a massive impact on his life. It changed him radically. And she really appreciated him asking in a masculine present way so well so much so that she validated him back. Yeah, they didn't go on a date, but it was life-changing for him and it made her day. And who knows, maybe it made her week. Maybe she thinks back years later to that guy and thinks, I wish I had gone out with him. I wish I'd gotten to know him. So these things happen and they're powerful and they're real, okay? Um, there's a lot of other things you can do if you really wanna work this area. If you're really terrified of asking for the phone number or the instant date, just lead with that for, uh, uh, for a few days walk up and open the conversation with that just to get over the fear. Don't expect it to work. It might work. It might lead to a bantery fun conversation. So what you'll do is you just walk up and now that you've gotten good at direct approaching, you know there's something about you, I had to say hi, with that same level of presence, you walk up and you say, you know what? There's something about you, you're really beautiful. I'd love to get your phone number and take you out sometime. And just sit in that tension, hold it, be present with it and see what she does. She might be like, oh, I can't, you know, I barely know you. And she starts giggling and bubbling. Play with that because that's her flirting now. She's not gonna say yes right away, most likely. She might, some girls will. They may not call right away. You're gonna have to flirt with them now. You, that, that's, the, that's the tension opener. You're, you're playing with tension. You're stepping into a lot of tension and now you're gonna flirt for the next three, four, five minutes, but it gets the process started. And maybe she won't give it to you right away, but maybe three minutes of conversation, she will. Okay, you could do the same thing with an instant date. If you're scared to ask for a date, you know, you, you lead with that. You walk up, I'm really present. You know, I saw you from over there. You're really beautiful. And I just wanted to meet you. And, and you know what? I'd love to sit down and have a cup of coffee with you right now. I was actually picturing her here and I realized I got to come here. And I'd love to sit and have a cup of coffee with you or a cup of tea. Do you mind if I join you? Or if you're on the street, you know, there's a coffee shop right here. Let's go. She might say no. She might say, no, I can't. I'm, I got a boyfriend. That's fine. Now you're learning, you're getting over the fear. She might say, well, I don't know, I barely know you. And say, well, let's get to know each other a little bit. My favorite color is blue. Uh, I like the summer. Actually, I like the winter only for skiing. And um, I'm really into uh, spirituality and personal growth, but the masculine version. Now tell me something about you. And then you have fun with it. Whatever you wanna say, I just made that up. I don't know if I'd say it that way. I'd probably say it a little different, but that's just an example. My friend used to use something like that all the time. He would 
girl would say, well, I don't really know you. And he'd say, well, my favorite color is blue. My favorite shows this, my favorite. And he had a list and he goes, okay, now you know me, let's go. And it was fucking money. Girls would laugh because there's tension. He's stepping into the tension. He's owning it. And that's powerful. Okay. So that's another way to get over asking for the phone number. I'm going to give you one more. I saw this years ago on a, a video and I think it was by the uh, prank group, whatever. Uh, back when they had a chant when they had their channel going I think it's still up if you want to go look it up but it was a video he would walk up to women to get their phone numbers without saying a word he'd open his phone to a contact an empty contact and he would just walk up to women and he would put it in front of them and he'd smile with a big open heart during the day not at night and because we tested this at night it didn't quite work as well and he would just smile and they would say what what do you want and you point to the contact and you smile some more and you just get really bright and they laugh and then they go, you want my number? And you go, yeah. You don't say yeah out loud. You just nod your head, you smile. You do a little sub communication. And a lot of times they'll just put their phone number in. It's great. And, um, and so, okay, and they put it in because they don't know what to do. They don't know how to handle the tension. So it's a great opportunity for you to step into tension and play with these women and to have fun with it. That's a bonus exercise if you want to do it. Do it during the day, do it in a lower energy environment. Don't do it in a high energy environment. Well, you could do it in a high energy after you get some practice, but it's easier in a low. And just relax. You got to open your heart and relax and play with them. You got to feel good about yourself as you do it. And it will work. And it'll get you over again the fear of asking for the number. It doesn't mean they'll call you back right away. They might. They might not. You could even talk to them after you get the number. Or you could walk away and send them texts and just joke with them a little bit and have fun. But the point of these is to get over that fear so that you'll reach a point that when it's time to ask for the number, you do it in a relaxed, easy, calm, confident way. Especially when you meet that girl you really like. Let's get these the bad ones out of the way so you can calm down. Because one of the keys here, principles here at Fearless, is to get you past all the anxiety and the fear so that you can learn. Because the truth is, if we give you all this information and all that's running inside of you is anxiety, nervousness, and fear, that has to come down first so you can actually apply the principles. Because if you're up here, nervous, bound up in your neck, and hi, how you doing? And you're trying to do all this stuff, none of it's gonna work anyways. You're just gonna push her away. So as we get past that, you get calm, you get focused, you get open. It's gonna be so much easier to apply this stuff. That's the real key. This stuff's not hard at all once you're calm. The real enemy is the fear, doubt, and worry. And as you get through the fear, doubt, and worry, you get really present, everything changes. So with that said, if you're having trouble with the fear, doubt, and worry, you're having trouble being present, you're having trouble being a masculine man, you know, who you're being under the surface before you even make a move, then definitely check out my new book, The Art of Fearless Seduction. It really helps you to work on that inner confidence, that inner presence, and understand what all those qualities are and, to how, and ways to develop them. There'll be a link here in the video somewhere that will help to feed the fuel or fuel all the stuff that you're learning here today and over the last few weeks. Because if this stuff's still not working for you, there's something going on internally. You're not, you're in your head, you're not present, you're walled off, there's something like that going on. And you need to break that. Another thing you can do is also check out our workshops. If you think you wanna come and work in person, definitely contact us and we will help you out with that too. With that said, I hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to share, help us to grow the channel, be awesome. Make sure to comment, we love all those comments. And remember, only the confident really live. See you in the next video.